morning to you ladies, my name is Jacksepti Guy and welcome back to Kinder Garden. I don't know whose mission we're going to do this time. I did see people give a lot of suggestions and people were saying a lot of different ones and I think some people are just picking the ones that they think are the best ones instead of just being the easier kind of ones. Um, so I have a few that I could try. I did kind of start one with Nugget before. I didn't really get that far with Jerome and I did kind of start one with the teacher as well, so we might be able to do the teacher's one because she wanted to get rid of all the kids, so let's just see how far we can push that. Let's take out like 310 because if we take out any more there's no point and if we take out 310 that's enough to get bugs to attack me. Am I ready to start another day? I don't know. Am I? Mmm, I smell money! Yep. I keep changing all the voices for the kids. You know what? That's fine. Kids change their fucking voices all the time. Right, okay. I'm gonna go tell the teacher on you. He stole my buddy! <laughs> teacher! He did? Interesting! Uh... What's in it for me? Gold star? Ah. Uh, okay! I'll kill him for you! Oh, you just want me to tattle on him? What well, I wanna kill him. I wonder if I can kill any kids in this game. Maybe that's how the game gets away with it. It's because all the characters are killing each other, or killing themselves, and I don't actually kill anyone, so it's kind of fine. Squishing me won't make your Jack come back. He'll never be proud of you. Dying wouldn't be so bad. I'm just gonna sit here. Just let him punch the shit out of me. Oh, except your fate. <laughs> Teacher! Teacher! He's punishing me! Bugs! How dare you attack another student unprovoked! No, please don't! He started it! He's a liar! Boo! Boo! Oh no! Sadness for you, little bully bugs! Little bugsy bitch! Cool! Now we got a gold star! Maybe we could. Why don't we arrange our trip for him to visit daddy? Okay, so... This is Jerome. Jerome is the principal's kid. So he thinks he can just walk tall in these halls, huh? Saying, my dad's the principal. If you do anything to me, he'll get you. Yeah, well, fuck you and your dad. Oh, that's what I like to hear. Come see me during morning time and I'll tell you what to do. See you then, teacher. Hi, okay, children. It's time Saturday. I'm in sight. Got it. Cool. Good morning, children. It's time for you to pick your buddies. I'm not... It's, I keep going in and out of the voice because it's hard to do. Um, okay. Hey, teacher. What are we gonna do to Jerome? Go find the morning buddy. Ah, uh, you wanted to see me about Jerome? Ah, yes. The high and mighty Jerome. Always talking back to me because his dad is my boss. I wonder if there are kids that do that. I think it's time we finally got even with him. Are we gonna end up killing all the kids? How do we do that? The principal has informed me that one of his hall passes has gone missing. I'd bet Nugget's life that your own took them. What's Nugget's life worth to you? Not much, but I make a teacher salary, so even by my student life valuing system, it's still a pretty significant percentage. Why don't you just take the pass? I'm not allowed to search a student without probable cause. And Lord knows there's probable cause for searching the principal's son. That's why I need to give it to you. I can do that. Excellent, just go over there and have him give it to you. Okay. Did I get any new things? Try and get the stolen hall pass from Jerome. Do I have to buy you a yo-yo for it? Dude, you know you're not cool enough to sit here. Uh, did you steal a hall pass? Why, you interested in getting one? Yes. Well, too bad I'm not interested in helping a dweeb like you. Why not? There's something cool in it for me. You can forget about it. Get lost. Okay, what does he want? Does he want the yo-yo? I wanna buy some. Give me that dang yo-yo, bro. Hang on, once I give it to Jerome, it's gonna be my fucking bro-yo. He's, cause he's gonna be so happy with it, he's gonna make me his bro. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Our yo-yo's cool. It's like, I'm not being your friend until you give me something cool. <laughs> this cool enough for you? Hell yeah, they are. Maybe you are cool after all. I'll trade you the yo-yo for the pass. You've got yourself a deal. Since we're gonna be friends, I think you should do something to help me out. You know, as a friend. Like what? You know that creepy old janitor? 
stole my laser pointer this morning. Dang! Said it was too bright and shiny for his old eyes. Probably has cataracts already anyway. I love how I'm just going around school with a big old bloodied eye. When you're ready, I'll give you a hall pass. You can use it to get by the hall monitor. Once you're past him, head to the janitor's closet. My laser should be in there somewhere. I can do that. Awesome. Should be in a box somewhere. Just grab it and go. Don't linger too long. He checks back fre frequently. Those who linger lose a finger. Just let me know when you're ready and I give you the pass. I won't be able to distract the teacher for long, so head straight to the door. Wait! Am I stealing his pass and then just going straight to the teacher after he's doing that? Okay, teacher! <laughs> just give me a minute, to Jerome is distracting me! <laughs> she already knows she's being distracted! Um, yeah! About that! Um, I got Jero I got the pass from Jerome. Cause I'm doing the teacher's one, so I could do Jerome stuff, but I'd have to- I don't know. I wanna do the teacher's one. At least now I got some more hints for Jerome's one, I think. Jerome! You little cocksucker! I mean, cockroach! Hopefully nobody heard that. We've been over this! You can't just steal your dad's hall passes! What?! You ratted me out to the teacher?! Dude! There's a bro code! We call it the brood! Yes, he did! He's a good little rat. Please stop calling me that. <laughs> no, cause that's what you are. Teacher's special little rat. Oh, not the SLR. Everyone's gonna beat me up. Just like Jerome is teacher's special little suspended hooligan. <laughs> oh, come on, bro. I thought you were cool. Damn. My want to be cool is kind of hurting me right now. Well, he's not. And because he's so uncool, he gets one of my special gold stars. Two gold stars. You know what that means? Two more and that's a strike. Now why don't you get go take that pass back to your dad? I'm sure he'd love to know where it went. Man, stupid rat getting me in trouble. My dad is gonna kill me. That's the plan! Now, huh, we're two for two! You know what that means? There's only four more. Let's keep this removal train rolling. Ow. Oh. I have a special plan for Nugget. Just befriend the little weirdo by the time recess starts. Okay, I guess. Feel free to get any of the other kids in trouble while you're in there. You'll have to get creative though. Okay, can I get Nugget's Nugget? Nugget is not worth worrying with you. Nugget is very busy. Do you want to be friends? Oh. Nugget normally spends his morning time alone and eats lunch alone and lives life alone. Nugget supposed to could be your friend if... If what? You eat this Nugget. That's it? Yes, you do this for Nugget, we will be friends. Wait, is this a test? Because before he said if you eat the Nugget, that your friendship digests along with that. So if I eat it, he's going to be, that's a test. Shit, I don't know. Oh, if we fail this, I'm going to have to start again. It's going to be a test, isn't it? Good, now remember the taste of the Nugget. We will die together at lunch. Nugget will see you dead. Yes! I made a fucking chicken Nugget friend. I'm friends with them. Try and run out as many of the other kids as you can. I believe in you. Okay. I'm gonna be your special little rat. Sorry, sweetie, but I'm spending my morning time with my boyfriend. Whatever, Cindy. God. Oh. Okay, then. Can I just steal shit from there? Come on, teacher. I'm helping you. Let me take the knife. Who needs to rat out the students? When you can kill them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever. Fuck. That's the lunch bell. Go to lunch. Time to go get my fucking slop on, bro. Oh man. There's only four students left. Who will be next to leave? The Big Brother house. Look at this, please. You have returned. Tell look at the dog that you can soup is very tasty, yes? Sure. I guess. You couldn't taste the poison? Wait, what? Look at poison the nugget! I'm gonna die? Strange. Normally bugs are thrown slop and nugget's head by now. I got bugs expelled this morning. You did? Oh my! Nugget's revenge on bugs would have been so satisfying, but I guess this was not cause any potential legal trouble for nugget down the road. So um about this antidote? Oh yes, of course. Silly nugget almost forgot. Here you are. Well, what, Nugget's new friend to cough up his own stomach now, would we? 
Logan is glad you have you to have you as friend. Please come visit Logan at recess. Logan would like to show you something. Okay, is that it? I think that might be it. I actually I'm not hungry. Biscuit balls? I don't want any. Fuck you. I think we might be good. Let's just see. Okay, bye Lily. Lily doesn't like to eat for very long. She goes out and cries about her lost brother. Okay, get out just a recess belt. Get out or I fucking throw a slap at you. I heard about what happened to Bugs. I'm so glad that little monster is dead. And I didn't even have to do it myself. Three gold stars! All I had to do was get beaten up a small bit and have a bloody eye and probably fractured face for the rest of my life. What about Nugget? Did you manage to befriend the little mole creature? I sure did, teacher. Please, teacher, give me all the gold stars. Excellent! You see the holy standing over there? He's been digging it for a few days. I'm pretty sure he's gone straight through the bottom of the box. Yes, I would be impressed if it wasn't so dangerous. Unfortunately, I have no way to prove how dangerous it is. The principal doesn't seem to care. What does this have to do with gaining his trust, Bouncy Titty McGee? Because he won't let anyone in the hole who doesn't trust. That's why you're going down there. He doesn't trust you? Of course not! He may be weird, ugly, and disturbed, and have a mole on the side of his face, and his father might have slept with me once and never called me back. But he's only a little stupid. He knows I'm out to get him. So what do I do? I need you to go down into the hole and find something. Doesn't have to be much, just anything we can get to use. I'm gonna die if I fall down there. I don't know. I just know there has to be something down there. Just go down there and find it. Okay, okay, good. Come back when it's done. Will do, Capitan. Can I buy like a rope or something? Thank you for coming to Snug and Ask. Snug and Norman does not have any friends to show us the work to, but today he does. Are you ready to enter the Nugget Cave? Yes. We're gonna make this. We're gonna do it. Are, are we all in this together? Yep. High five. High five. Bro fist. Shake hands. Yes. Excellent. But first, Nugget must do something. What's that? He's just shitting out Nuggets! He dropped Nuggets on the hole to cushion my fall. So we do not die upon landing. Nuggets and Nuggets are as squishy as they are tasty. Now please enter the Nugget Cave. And did you not deny that Nuggets and Nuggets were tasty before? Yes, super tasty. That means you know how squishy they are. Enter the Nugget Cave. Whee! Whoa. Welcome to the Nugget Cave. Wait, how do we get back out? <laughs> we got in here. Fine. I'm getting into a mess is easy. I'm well able to do that. Getting out is kind of hard. Ah, oh, Sparky! Behold, it's Snuggly goodness. Please, have a look around. Uh, okay, I'm gonna take this monster mon card. There's a monster mon card lying here next to some disintegrating skulls. Okay, I'll leave the card for now, because I don't know if I need apples. Oh, the little doggy. Look, I forgot that was there. Is it dead? Yes, it is, but do not fret. Nugget did not do it. Nugget was just digging the Nugget Cave when it fell from the sky. Nugget dares not bring it to the surface, or probably cause trouble. Ooh, I need something though. Take the dog. <laughs> is this a grave? Is this where the brother went missing? Oh, dude. Are you enjoying your stay here in the Nugget Cave? Yeah, I'm just gonna keep looking around. I'm gonna take this fucking sick ass monster mon card as well. Look at all the shit I have! Yeah, dude! This is amazing! Right, ooh, we got a lot of the Cindy ones, but that's finished now, so it doesn't matter. If you go to the restroom without cigarettes during lunch, the hall monitor will take you to the principal's office. Okay, got it. If you run out of time in the janitor's closet, he will appear and kill you. Got that one. Boxing janitor's closet has five dollars in it. Tell on bugs for robbing you, but don't agree to start a fight. You need to buy cigarettes in the schoolyard. For Lily? Wizard worm is in Nugget Cave, next to the skulls. Sneaky snake is hidden in a box in the janitor's closet. Fucking nice one, bro. What does this say? Ah, yes! The mysterious sign of omniscientness. 
greatness. It says, let he who brings the 25 talismans releases the greatness of all evils upon the world. Please tell me that there's a monster mon cards and I can actually release like Satan. That's creepy. Um, yes, Nugget. While I do love your stay, my, my stay here in Nugget Cave, it has been glorious. I love the sunshine from this dank hole and I love the graves of nuggets that you have. But Quest is calling me. I must leave. My people need me. Yeah, but I'm ready to go. Peace, homie. Yo, dog, check it. What did you find? This dog corpse. Oh my dearie me! Is that... Is that... Is that Cindy's dog? What? You're the one who killed not my dog? Oh my god, she's dead. Cindy! I think what he was trying to tell me is that Nugget... You shut your fat, ugly mouth! I have to make this right. Cindy, no, you can't just... She just stabbed me in the fucking head! Actually, it would be one less kid for me to deal with. Good job, Cindy. You've earned a gold star. Cindy might be a little upset to hear about her dog. Yeah. Kinda got stabbed in the head there. That's not good. When it comes to list of priorities, uh, like for my day, it's like, wake up, be awesome, have breakfast, be more awesome, take a poop, go to school, don't get stabbed in the head. That's actually pretty low. There's a lot of in between, but I don't want to get you guys with the semantics. Okay. Right, we have to go down here again. Maybe if I talk to Cindy first, we can figure out some stuff. Okay, can't do anything with Cindy. Damn it. Can I buy a... Uh, an anti-knife deflector helmet? That'd be really helpful. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, I messed it up. I'm gonna have to restart. I have to get okay, so I need to get rid of Cindy earlier. And I think I need to get rid of Lily or Monty between then as well. Cause you get rid of Nugget here, and then I'm gonna get need to get rid of someone during show and tell. So I didn't actually get rid of anyone during recess. You need to get rid of someone during every period. Fuck. Okay, I got this. I got this. Watch. Watch me do! Right, so, this is a lot more complex than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was just, like, go ahead, see the teacher, and then do something with Cindy or something, but no! Apparently I had to go farm money, which I just got a nugget off nugget, and then spent all my moves until the end of the day, show the nugget at show and tell, and then you make 475 each day. Really easy way to farm money. And then, I had to come back, take out $9. I have to- wait, I'll just do it here. Uh, I don't know- wait, the sing yes get me half money or does he take it all? I don't know. So I have to report him. As always. What's up, y'all? Uh, book stole my money. Yes, yes, yes. What's in it for me? Um, okay. Okay, now don't fuck this up. Because I have to start the whole thing again then. Squishing me. Yes, he'll never be proud of you. And then, dying wouldn't be so bad. See, there's where I mess it up because I keep pressing space. But call for teacher. I love how she runs over. She's so funny looking. Here we go. Yes, 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 yes. Away you go. But, 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 go. Stupid rat. Okay. There's one student taken care of. Maybe. Maybe we could. See you then. Okay. There's that aspect of it done. Now I need to go and buy a recorder from Monty. Does he have a recorder? Yeah, voice recorder. What the fuck? Pretty cool gadget getting it for 250. That's why I needed so much money. Just a little microphone. Ha! <laughs> it should be known, Cindy. I'm wearing a wire. I mean. Hey, Snookums. <laughs> hey there, I'm Cindy. Uh no. Wait, what? Do you want to be my boyfriend? Sure. Like what? Oh, maybe I have to refuse this. No way. Fine, but don't come crying to me when you die old and alone. I won't. What? Okay, let's try this again. I'm pretty sure. Uh, isn't our love enough? Okay, you're gonna have to prove it. Why? Why? How about cause I, I'm the prettiest, smartest, nicest girl you'll ever meet? Does that do it for you? It doesn't seem like any of those things. Excuse me? I know you did not just say that to me because if you did, I would have taken you out. I'd like to see you try. Fine, you asked for it. 
What are you gonna do? Oh, Jesus! Are you fucking serious? Not cool! Oh, dearie me! What on earth is going on over here? I heard someone cry rape! Yes, Miss Abigate, it was me. This boy tried to rape me. Cindy! Er, Cindy! We've been over this! Boys not wanting to be your boyfriend do not count as rape! But as per the school policy, I have to send you both to the principal. What? Why are you punishing me for almost being raped? You didn't almost get raped! You fucking liar! Now you listen to me, you little parasite! You're going to have to go to the principal's office! End of story! This is so unfair! Yeah, yeah! Tell it to the principal! Okay, someone also pointed out that there's blood coming from underneath this dude. I'm sorry, Bugs, but you gotta leave me no choice but to- Oh, what now? What are you two doing here? Also, I forgot to say that people reminded me it's, it's Mr. Goldenfold, which is Morty's maths teacher- Maths teacher! There, English. He tried to rape me. Great! Well, Bugs, looks like you get off easy this time. Get out of here, you little dumpster fire! Little dumpster fire, Jesus. I'll be seeing you a recess, pal. Okay, you two, let's get this over with. So you're accusing your little friend of trying to rape you? Really, Cindy? Yes, sir. I could barely fight him off. I'm gonna assume you are going to deny that you raped her. Is that correct? Oh, God. Yes? Fuck! What do I do? Because I have a voice recorder. Y yes That's what I thought. Well, since no one witnessed the incident and you don't have any proof, there's not much I can do except separate you two for a while. Um, I recorded it. You did? Well, that makes this a hell of a lot easier. Cindy, do I even have to listen to this or will you have to make it easy on yourself and just admit nothing happened? But, but he, what? Okay, fine. But he started it. He said I was mean. Not good enough. I think I'm gonna enjoy not having you in my school for a while, Cindy. I'm gonna keep this recorder in case there's any trouble with your awful mother calls. So, can't I have it back? No. Now why don't you run on back to class now? I think you've missed enough learning for today. Sure. Okay, so we got rid of... We didn't get rid of bugs. I, I thought that was the problem. Oh, you're back. Where's Cindy? What's your punishment? None. I had proof I didn't do it. So that means she's gone. Oh, happy, happy day. I was so sick of hearing all her nonsense. You would have earned a gold star. Would have? Well, our little ruse didn't get rid of bugs like I'd hoped. But don't worry, there's plenty of time to handle that later. What about Jerome? Ah, yes, the high and mighty Jerome. Always talking back to me because his dad is my boss. Okay, so now we're in the same shit. Uh, I can do that. Okay, so I have to befriend Nugget, and I have to get the yo-yo from Monty. Same as always, and then we get to recess, and then we figure out how we get rid of him, and then we get rid of her at show and tell? Maybe. Oh, right! Because Bugs isn't gone now, he's throwing slop at him! Perhaps. That depends on why you do next. Bug just threw slop at you. Yes! He does that every day, but today, Nugget has poison. You're going to poison Bugs for Nugget. Why would I do that? Because Nugget also has the other that will save your life. Very good, very good. Good choice. How do I poison him? Yes, I'm a murderer now. Here is another Nugget. It is quite similar to what you just ate. Only this one is far more potent. Just get Bugs to eat it. Okay, I'll try. Better hurry. Nugget thinks you have to do a bell ring before poison doesn't work. Okay, how do I make you eat this? I need you to eat this. What? Why? What is it? It's a nugget. Yeah, I can see that. Why the heck would I want to eat something you gave me? Because otherwise you look like a sissy. <gasps> Ooh, that's a good one. What? Who around here thinks I'm a sissy? I want to eat a stupid nugget. Nugget thinks you're a sissy. You really think I care about Nugget? I throw globs at the freak's head every day. So I've heard. Okay, so why would I eat the stupid Nugget? Because you're poor and you need the food? Okay, kid, if I'm so poor and you're so charitable, why don't you throw in a couple books as well? I don't have that. Did I just fail? Did 
I have to restart the fucking room? God damn it. Okay, who would he look up to? Cindy? Cindy doesn't think I'm a sissy. Well, she won't if you eat this nugget. Yeah, give me the nugget, I'm, I'm sure. Yes. Oh, you showed her all right, buddy. Good old pal. Now show her how you die. Is it done? Has Spock's been poisoned? It is done, my friend. It is done, my new- Oh, God! Wonderful! Logan is quite pleased! If what you say is true, both should die any moment now! And uh, there he goes. It's the editor, I promise. Sweet! Nice! Three down! Three to go! Fuck y'all. Oh! I can get rid of Monty here as well! Because Monty says that the janitor spelled biscuit wrong, and we all know the janitor is trigger happy, or mop happy. So will he kill him? Ugh. Is that dweeb with the glasses? That dweeb with the glasses? Who am I kidding? Of course it is. Hey! Nerd! Um, what do you want? Got some janitor stuff you want to tell me? No, but I got a coffin for you to buy! Oh, sweet Jesus Christ! Let this be a lesson to you about correcting people's spelling. <laughs> Jesus, taking grammar Nazi to a whole new level. There, lessons were learned, lines were drawn. Sure. Fuck, dude. You're a good kid for letting me know that little monster is going around correcting spelling. Yeah, and in a school of all places. <laughs> Shameful the way kids these days. Shameful. Do you seem to be one of the good ones? Thanks. Just let the old janitor know if there's anything else you say about his spelling. I don't think that'll ever happen again. Oh! These glasses flew off the nerd's face when I hit him. You can have him. These old eyes don't miss a thing. Right. Thanks. Fuck it. He's not dead, though. <laughs> what did you say to him? Shh. Shh. Just rest now. <laughs> Mother of Christ. Okay. Can I use up my apples now? Okay, cool. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Good lord, this one is taking forever to do though! There's so many mistakes that I'm making! I'm impressed with your performance of lunch! Getting bugs and Monty! Must have taken you some doing! You get two gold stars for that! Nice! Did you manage to befriend Nugget? Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing again. He's gonna be gotten rid of... ...down in the hole after I get the dog, right? Oh wait! Fuck, if I do this, I have nothing to get rid of Cindy or er, Lily with. Because this gets rid of Nugget. But I have nothing to actually get rid of Lily with. Damn it! Oh, I messed it up again. Shit! It's a Cindy's dog, Nugget. What is it, large teacher lady? Did you kill Cindy's dog? I no, 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 whatever. Well, not never. But Nugget is relatively harmless. Don't lie to me! Nugget is not lying. Nugget knows it was the janitor who killed the little puppy. I know it was you! Oh gosh, she pushed him in! Nugget, no! Oh boy! That was unfortunate. Shit, dude! Well, that didn't go as planned, but I'm relatively pleased with the result. You've earned another gold star. Coo. Coo. Shit, I can't get rid of Lily. There might have been something else at the, the lunch. I don't think you're going to have enough time to get all the gold stars today. Better luck tomorrow. Aw, oh, man! It's taking forever. There's a lot of trial and error. So, I got glasses, and I have two moves left, but Lily left. Maybe I can do something with you. How you doing there, Sonny? Can I go to the bathroom? Maybe that's where Cindy went. Oh, I'm not allowed to let any of you kitties out in the hall during lunch. Maybe you could do a little something for me if you want to look the other way. Like what? Well, I seem to have misplaced my glasses. These old ones can't read the menu without them. See if you can find a pair lying around, I'll let you go. Okay, there we go. Oh, lovely! Thanks so much! Go ahead and do what you gotta do, I won't stop you. Okay, I have one apple left. 
don't fuck this up. Wait, isn't the hall guy gonna get me? What are you out here for? Go away, kid! I'll get in trouble if the principal hears you. Walk away from Lily. Oh! So I need a screwdriver to get that later on. What was in here? I can't go into the bathroom because the dude's in there and he'll fuck me up if I go in there. Um, that's the janitor's thing though. Maybe the teacher will kill her if I go in here. Oh. Crap. This is the door to the principal's office. Knock on the door? What the? It's lunchtime! Who's knocking on my door? What are you doing? You're gonna get us both in trouble. What are you kids doing out here? You should be in the cafeteria. Lily was eavesdropping on you. If Lily was eavesdropping, then what are you doing? I knocked to let you know. I'm a good rat, boy. Lily, we've been over this. I had nothing to do with your brother's disappearance. Why don't you step into my office? And we will talk this over again. I'm choking on my own saliva. I know it was you. One day I'll prove it. I'm getting real sick of this, young lady. Office. Now! Oh, her little... Please excuse me for a moment. Fuck yeah, dude! He fucking killed her! Oh, Jesus! So wait. Cindy got... Cindy didn't die, right? Or maybe she did. After we seen what the principal does to kids who are in his office who get in trouble. Jerome probably didn't die because it's his son. Bugs died. Now Lily's dead. Nugget's gonna die later. Am I killing all of them? Okay, thank you for letting me know about her. I'm sure you heard the recess bell. Why don't you go on out and play? Okay, I'm not saying anything else because I might die. Fuck yeah! Five stars! Okay, nice. Now we just do the end of this and get the dog and fuck him up. Boom, 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 boom. Right. Miss! Miss! He killed a dog! <gasps> what did you find? This dog corpse. Okay. And then, hey presto, my name's Lesto. He's gonna push him in. Go. Go. Do it. Wait. What do I show and tell then at the end? My stars? Oh, I guess the Monstermon card. Would I die if I didn't get the Monstermon card? Or fail, I mean? I think you- Wait. Do you die if you don't have anything for show and tell? Yes, 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 we've heard all this before. Come on, Miss Jigglers. Wow, would you look at that? The playground is completely empty. You've gotten rid of all your classmates and collected six gold stars. So what now? Now I go home early. Don't I get a reward? All right, your reward. Here you go, it's a special lunch pass. You can use it anytime you want to have lunch with me. It's my way of protecting my rats for selling out their friends. Whoop! There's no one left to teach today, so I'm gonna take off. What about me? Look, kid. He reckon I'm a gold star, or you can start walking home. Choice is yours. That's her. That's her real voice when she's when she's finished teaching, and she doesn't have to keep up appearances anymore. Good. I'll see you tomorrow, totals. Yes. Teacher's pet. Man, do I feel bad for being a teacher's rat. I have 225. Sick. Monday again. Time 7. Fuck yeah! Okay. Well, that does it for this episode of Kindergarten. I really hope that all of them aren't as long as that one. There's so much trial and error. You go in, you do everything that the teacher's saying, but then there's a lot of stuff that you missed, like the voice recorder rape thing. Good lord. I never would have got that in the first round. You have to go through it and fail everything and then be like, okay, what are my other options in this scenario? Which is a little annoying, because it makes you have to replay scenarios a lot. Even when you kind of figure out what you're supposed to do, there's, there's very little wiggle room for mistakes. And sometimes you can even mess up the dialogue trees, like talking to Cindy at the start. If I don't say that I want to be her boyfriend, and then say, isn't our love enough, and then start insulting her, I don't get to the rape part, and then I mess up everything else. So if I just say sure at the start, and then say something like, I can't remember the other option. Then, I, I mess it all up and I have to start over again. So annoying. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face! Like a boss! And... I face all out. Whoosh! Whoosh! Well, thank you guys, now we'll see all you dudes! Come on, Oh my!
Why? It seems that all the students are dead! 